Hello everyone and welcome back to another list video now talking about my top 50 favorite songs of 2019. These are the songs I saw myself listening to the most on repeat, non-stop. These are songs that truly managed in one way or another to captivate and keep company with me. Of course you know that this is my list and the way I'm going to do it is that I'm going to include just one song per artist to keep things fair and square otherwise the list would be quite unbalanced and i want to have more variety and be more fun and it's not just about main singles or teaser tracks it's just about my favorite songs an artist put out this year so let's get into five honorable mentions where I have Pemex by Fat Nick and Sequel, one of the hardest bangers to start of the year. Then we have the track Burn by the industrial techno outfit Age Sexy, you know the name. Rina Sawayama Shut the Fuck Up is another instance of a pop artist turning into an alternative new metal direction and it works really well with this song. We also have one of the most fun house tracks to come out this year with one of the most ridiculous video clips, Horse by Salvatore Ganacci. And then we have the ferocious black metal track, Age of Excuse 3 by Mogla. Getting into my top 50, we start with a main single out of the new album from JPEG Mafia, Jesus Forgive Me, I Am A Thought, really well thought out and really well structured experimental hip hop track, I really like the vibe of this song. At number 49 is the really weird, obscure and abstract Girl With Basket Of Fruit by Susu, definitely one of the most unsettling and most haunting things Susu have ever ever done in their entire career. Number 48 is Brooke Candy's trip, love the really nasty attitude and this really nice, heavy and punchy futuristic beat to it, it gives a really nice touch to the song. Number 47 is Taylor Swift's Cruel Summer, never would I thought that I would like a Taylor Swift track as much, but Lover actually has some really nice pop tracks. Cruel Summer is one of them. Number 46 is the heavily emotional dark wave song by Hante called Wild Animal. Number 45 is a really beautiful and cute pop song by Carly Rae Jepsen, Julian. Number 44 is one of the greatest examples of vaporwave music the way I like it, with really slow pitched scenes and having a really chaotic and lo-fi approach to it. I'm talking about Trapped by Mimic really beautiful song that has stuck in my head. Number 43 is Solway First by Slipknot, definitely a great comeback, one of the greatest and one of the heaviest songs they've done in a very long time and I love the riff to the chorus on this thing. Number 42 is the fourth part out of the new album from Batus Cup, the true one, one of the slower paced cuts but I love the really heavy and filthy black metal sound to this particular song. Number 41 is Radio by Rammstein. Rammstein in my opinion released some incredible singles and this is definitely one of my favorites they've done, like ever. Number 40 is Loyal to the Deceased by Vatican Shadow which is mostly some dark looped samples for almost 6 minutes and it's a really, really good song. At number 39, by far my biggest highlight out of the new Hyde album is Everyone's Dead. This song is actually one of the catchiest moments but the energy and the bass, the sound of the song is really, really, really good. Number 38 is the absolutely bugging and quite cleverly done cha -ching by Slater. Number 37, one beautiful atmospheric minimal techno track from Nils Fram called Spells. Truly one of the greatest moments in his entire catalog in my opinion. At number 36, Isolated Youth prove why they're one of the more important up and coming post punk groups coming out recently with their track Oath. Number 35, one of the trap badgers of the year in my opinion is Confetti by Rich Brian. Number 34, we have an extremely pleasant surprise with Underground Peak by Bring Me The Horizon. This is a 24 minute track, but it has to be my favorite moment and the most unexpected one and the most surprising out of the entire album. 
really, really love the change of direction and how messy this track is in general. Number 33 is Igno by Gesaffelstein. This has easily become already one of my favorite things Gesaffelstein has done. It's short, but I love the energy to this thing and the sounds. They're absolutely fascinating. There are so many amazing moments on the new album from Flume. Aber probably has to be one of my favorites, especially the sounds on this thing are absolutely magical. It could have been higher on the list though if this track was longer, including lots of other moments in this mixtape. Number 31, we have a really nice change of direction by Uniform and the Body, but also keeping their really raw and nasty sound, resulting to one of the best things they've ever done together. I'm talking about the track Petron Shade of Regret. Number 30 is a track that I've seen myself coming back to a lot, but I really love Noise by Jaden. I think this track is absolutely amazing. I love its whole structure. I like the beat. I sort of like the vocal inflections of Jada's voice in this particular track. And in my opinion, Tyler the Creator kills it with his feature on this track. Number 29 is one of the most hard hitting hip hop tracks to come out in 2019 Venom by Little Sims. Number 28 Dirty Laundry by Danny Brown. Truly one of the most magical experiences out of a hip hop song I've heard in 2019. Really love Danny Brown's delivery and the beat, the sound of this thing is absolutely magical. Number 27, a really catchy and heavily energetic electronic track by the Chemical Brothers, Free Yourself. Number 26, by far my favorite moment out of the new collab project by Joseph Van Wissem and Jim Charmus is the track The Two Paths. Really, really love the beautiful atmosphere on this thing. It is absolutely magical. It sounds incredible. I love this song. Number 25, even though one of my complaints on the last album from Charlie XCX was that the features didn't deliver as much, this is not the case with the track Shake It. Instead, I would say that it's one of the best examples of how to use your features. I pretty much love everyone's delivery on this track and I love how out there and experimental and weird this track is with this absolutely incredible glitchy production. Number 24 is a really well done industrial song by Poppy, voicemail, definitely one of my favorite moments in her entire career, really dark and just really hard hitting, really like this track. Number 23 is What's Good by Tyler the Creator, one of the songs that goes a bit more to the hip hop side of things, a bit more to the aggressive side with a really, really nasty distorted bass, but also having great switch ups from the hip hop trap oriented stuff to some just pure neo soul music. Absolutely incredible song. Number 22 is one of the most hard-hitting trap buggers of the year, Psycho by Sloth Eye and Dezel Curry. In my opinion, both artists had some incredible moments in 2019, but in my opinion it was better to just include both of them in this particular collab because they both killed it in this song. It is absolutely insane. Number 21, Pusha T still manages with some really minimal production of Kanye West to bring some of the best hip hop out there with the track Sociopath. Number 20 is another trap banger that I've played non-stop. It's Zombie by Higher Brothers featuring Chris Bryan. Number 19 is one of my favorite tracks from Insane Clown Posse and one of the edgiest moments in their entire career. I like it rough. What an amazing song. Number 18 is one of the most magical, one of the most beautiful, one of the most ethereal moments in music history for me in 2019. It's the track Constantly in Love by Solveig Mantildur. I love her voice. I love the melody to this thing. I just love its whole atmosphere. It's beautiful. It's absolutely incredible. Number 17, Jailbreak the Tesla. Easily one of my favorite moments from the entire Injury Reserve catalog. I love the beat to it. I think the lyrics and the whole content, it's very clever. It's really well done. Really like the sound on this thing. It's absolutely incredible. 
Number 18 is Hi, It's Me by Asneko. Really love the chorus to this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous and it's the more laid down moment in this entire project series recently compared to the rest of the EP. But in my opinion, it makes for her better moment out of everything she has done so far. Number 15 is one of my favorite and one of the most genius tracks Burial has ever done, Claustro. This track is absolutely incredible. It's the sound I love and I want from Burial. This really nice lo-fi beat, those vinyl scratches, this really clever set of sampling and atmosphere. Absolutely magnificent work from Burial. Number 14 is the amazing heavy slash doom slash black metal track from Dark Throne. The Hardship of the Scots. Absolutely amazing riffs on this thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, excellent moment in the Dark Throne catalog. Number 13, this has easily become one of my favorite moments from Black Ceiling so far. The main thing that makes The Life of a Wolf such an impressive track is because it takes the main sample out of his most popular song and he recreates it in another way that also gives it an amazing feel it makes for an incredible song. Number 12 is Tempo by Lizzo. Now, I'm not the hugest fan out of her new album. I think it's decent, but this track in particular, I've listened to it non-stop. This is easily one of my most played songs from 2019. I am in love with how hard-hitting and how great this sounds. Number 11 is one of the most hard-hitting bangers coming out of nowhere by Doja Cat featuring Rico Nasty, Tia Tamera. A really fun trap song with incredible beat, incredible sounds and just really funny, ridiculous lyrics. Absolutely love this song. And now in my top 10, at number 10, we have Slow Day for Paid Sex by Gorsit. Wow, this song is something else. It's a great introduction to set the tone for his harshest work so far. From the beat to the pacing to its structure to its distorted sounds to its disturbing feel, everything about this track is absolutely incredible. Number 9 is Dos Te Matano Yours and I by Boris. This is one of those tracks from Boris that doesn't sound like a song from them. But one of the great things is that this direction to the J-pop side of things actually has done it one of the greatest examples in J-pop music I've heard in recent years. Beautiful song which is catchy but has a sort of a sad atmosphere to it and it has a glorious chorus. Number 8, of course I had to put a song from the new Tool album because it was absolutely incredible and Pnuma is the track that ended up being my favorite listening to it more and more. I really love the structure to this thing and it sounds, it's absolutely intense. Number 7, Tommy Cash did it again with the track Stupid. Not only this one has one of his best and one of his most imaginative video clips yet, but I really love this contrast of the sound where on the one side is a hard hitting trap banger but it's combined with sampling that goes you back to like the 40s or the 50s and it's combined in an absolutely magnificent way. This track is just, I've heard this so many times already, I mean it's posted back in like December 13th and I've already listened to this track lots and lots of times. Number 6, I had to put something from Current Value because he has done some incredible, like incredible tracks in 2019 and my pick for my favorite one is Imasin. Love the structure to this thing, love its sound, love its aggression, love the whole idea to it. Number 5 is something that I wouldn't expect but this is exactly what I wanted from Hobo Johnson. This is the sound I wanted from him and I definitely got that with the track Typical Story. 
I really love his direction on this song and it has some of my favorite lyrics from a song of this year. I've been blasting this thing non-stop and I'm hoping for more stuff like this. At number 4 we once again get the drum and bass side from Joseco with the track Damaged. Really sounds like another version of I Abomination but I love this track as well. And Damaged is impressively structured, really love the sounds and this climbs up to be one of my favorite moments out of everything Joseco have done. And they have some incredible tracks in their entire catalog. At number 3 we have a song from Filmmaker who made lots of different albums this year resulting to lots of great songs but there's none of them that I have played as much as Ever Rains. I don't know what's with this track in particular but the beat to it, the sound, the whole atmosphere, I just love everything about this song, the way it's structured, the way it's paced, it makes for one of the greatest examples of industrial techno songs imaginable in my opinion. At number 2 we have Dead Idols by Sidewalks and Skeletons featuring Go Monday. Not only is this one of the heaviest and one of the harshest tracks from Sidewalks and Skeletons but it's one of those moments where I see the entire genre being pushed forward and put on another level with this track. This gives an entirely different aura to the entire genre of Witch House with its aggressiveness. Like it keeps this occult feel but these snare drums, those distorted, heavily manipulated vocals, it makes for an absolutely mind-blowing track. And at number one we have one of the best cases in switch-ups on song in multiple varied and diverse sounds and the best use of features imaginable and I'm talking about the track All In Your Head by Clipping. It's not just one of the most unique moments in the entire clip catalog but it's one of the most unique moments in hip hop music in general. The fact that they made the features work that perfectly in a song that is full of weird experimentations, manipulation, in the industrial noise segments it's just mind-blowing to me. Anything in this track works perfect. To the transitions, to the whole styles, variations. And this distorted rise up on the gospel part just always gives me chills. Like what an absolutely epic finisher. Everything from the production, from the deliveries, from the lyrical content. Anything on this track is on point. And this is what makes All In Your Head my favorite track from 2019 and that's where I'm going to end this list. What's your favorite songs from 2019? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.